Hi, I'm Angie Taylor, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about some of the rules of typography when designing for the screen. So very briefly, we'll just go through a few of these. The first one is when you have text on the screen, to give you an idea of how long you should leave it on the screen for, you should be able to read it three times over. So for example, I need to say to myself, you should be able to read text three times. You should be able to read text three times. You should be able to read text three times. And that takes me maybe about four or five seconds to read it three times. And that's how long that sentence needs to be on the screen. You have to remember you're designing for the slowest reader. So you need to make sure that the text is on long enough. Now, there are times where you're deliberately trying to create an unsettling mood by not having the text on the screen quite long enough, sometimes in kinetic typography, animations, for example. You can use things like that just to create an unsettled feeling. But generally, you want to stick to this rule. Rolling credits should move at even multiple of frame rate. In other words, to avoid flickering, the speed of the rolling credits, say you're working in PAL at 25 frames a second, should go at either 50 pixels per second or 100 pixels per second. And in applications like After Effects, you can use the info panel to determine what speed things are moving. And then you can use the graph editor just to adjust the speed by moving the keyframes further apart or closer together. There are also presets in After Effects, which will create automatic rolling credits for you and do the calculation for you. So check those out. They're included in the free animation preset. You need to use more line spacing and letter spacing than when working with print because light emits from the edge of the text. It creates a little bit of a bleed. So use a little bit more line spacing and letter spacing. You should limit your text to 65 characters or 8 to 10 words per line. That's comfortable for people to read. Anything above that and they start finding it difficult to read. So keep it in manageable chunks. Use high contrast between the text and the background and limit to one or two fonts. You don't want to use too many fonts within one screen. The other thing is mixing cases makes text easier to read. Now, if you look at that sentence compared to the other sentences on this screen, immediately you'll see because I've used capital letters at the beginning of each word, it does make the text easier to read. Now keep in mind, I would use that maybe for titles, not for paragraph text, for example. And also, I wouldn't use uppercase letters on words like to any of those words. You know, I wouldn't use an uppercase letter on just on the words with the most meaning that you want to attract attention to. So that's a few rules of typography specifically aimed at screen design.